Back in the year 2008, the banks crashed. And the reason was because many people living in apartments in small homes wanted to live a better lifestyle. They wanted to live in homes, you know, a nice house, but banks wouldn't loan them the money. And the reason was because these people, they, they don't have jobs that, are, that can afford, you know, a loan to buy, to purchase a house. They have bad credit score. So, I mean, it was fair. I mean, banks wouldn't loan them money because they couldn't afford it. So these people, they uh, were getting frustrated and, you know, they were getting mad because they couldn't get these loans. So the government stepped in and the government basically told the banks that we'll fund you. And they did this by having the banks being insured by big time companies like Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and these companies are ultimately funded by the government. So the banks were being insured by you know big companies like these two and these companies were being funded by the government. So the banks were like, okay, so basically they can loan money that's not even theirs. They have no risk loaning money. They're basically like, they can loan money and, you know, it's going to be funded by the government. So if these, if, you know, these people can't afford the loan and their house goes foreclosure, it's being funded by the government. So it's a win, win situation for the bank. So they're like, okay, I mean, more money for us. So, you know, they made these loans that were super easy to qualify for these consumers. So basically, these people started getting loans from the banks that were super easy to qualify. I mean, they were getting loans which they couldn't afford. They started buying houses and basically, I mean, the numbers, I mean, thousands and thousands of people were getting these loans from the banks and they were buying houses and you know, after a couple months, these people were paying these mortgage payments that they ultimately couldn't afford and these houses were going for, I mean, they were going for foreclosure and it basically made the banks crash because the government had to fund all this money that they were lending, I mean, and these people couldn't pay it off. So these people lost their homes and basically made all the banks crash and now just, and I mean, in order to prevent this again, the regulations are just a lot stricter because like back, in, back when this happened, I mean, the loans were super easy to qualify and even brokers were even changing numbers like credit scores and stuff for these people. So it was even making them easier to qualify for a loan. So they're being corrupt also. So now the regulations are a lot tougher. One thing is that everything is being basically being overlooked. You can't change any more numbers you know, in the system, you can't change, you can't change numbers, everything has to be basically true, and also, the government, like, the regulation to qualify for a loan are, is a lot more stricter, qualifying for a loan is not easy anymore, you know, you have to have good credit score, and you have to show proof of income, and basically you have to show that you can actually afford the loan, and not just get this loan that you really can't afford. And that's basically it. That was that's what caused the the banks to crash in two thousand eight and those are some new regulations that are in place now to prevent it from happening again. That's it.